Hi everyone, this is the man from Motorhood and today I bring to you the first uh, episode of my motorcycle news series. So to start with, Yamaha's yard build returns to Taiwan for the Rough Crafts experience lining up to kick off the 2017 in true custom style. Now with no cutting or welding to the frame, Winston of Rough Crafts experience was free to work his signature style magic on the punchy mid-range XSR700. The result is two masterpieces. The simple to change kits transform the XSR700 in under an hour between a cafe racer style street machine, the Corsa Scorcher and a dirt track ready scrambler style bike, the Soil Scorpion. In, in 15 years, Ducati has taught over 10,000 motorcyclists from all over the globe. Tried and tested teaching met methods, prestigious locations and an unrivaled pool of instructors that includes world champions dedicated to growing a range of riders and experience levels. Ducati Rider Experience 2017 offers a syllabus that is more effective and meticulously structured than ever. Now for this year, Ducati Riding Experience courses are subdivided into three main sections. Safety, which is dedicated to safe roads riding, racetrack, for of course race circuits in Euro to learn and hone off-road skills. The Daytona TT marks the start of a new era of flat track racing as Indian motorcycles set out to unleash its first FTR750 and a wrecking crew consisting of Brian Smith, Brad Baker and Harrod Mees. The iconic Honda Rebel has gotten a complete refresh for 2017, both inside and out. It's a modern motorcycle with a classic and minimalist attitude. In MXGP, this weekend after a small break in the calendar, MXGP teams will return aboard their machines to South America for the third round of MXGP in Patagonia, Argentina. KTM in cooperation with Gimoto, an Italian manufacturer of traditional leather combis, has developed a configurator that allows the KTM RSX suit leather combi and the RSX jacket and pants to be individually designed and made to measure. So you've got a perfect fit now. Honda has supported the production of the film Ghost in the Shell, produced by DreamWork Pictures and Paramount Pictures and provided its highly acclaimed large motorcycle model NM4 Vultures, whose futuristic style has been very popular as the base model for the hero bike in the film. So don't forget to watch all the bike scenes in Ghost in the Shell. That's all for now. I'll keep bringing you the news until next time. Don't forget to like and share the video and do subscribe to Motorhood. Ciao!